everyone, it's Frances with Your Book of Memories, here to share my newest design, a gatefold portfolio, is what I'm going to call this one. Um, it's definitely using masculine paper, so again, thank you so much. My friend Annette sent this paper pack to me, Man Card, designed by Tracy Smith, what a fantastic artist, by Photoplay. Okay, we've got a 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheet and an assortment of different sized, awesome cut aparts, two pages of those. And this is absolutely a blast to make. I already have the tutorial on my website, ready to go. I go completely start to finish, 100% all the way through with you. And I'm just super excited. Uh, this one is compact and it has a thinner spine. So I really, really think this one's super cool. And of course I did use some leather, okay? Because this is some masculine paper, which I am obsessed with. <laughs> all the sayings, and this is one of my absolute favorite things. Uh, do what is right, not what is easy, so that's fantastic. I actually took this off of a belt that I bought at the 99 cent store. I saved it for years, never knew what I was gonna do with it, so I completely cut it apart and just took the buckles off and made my own little uh, belt buckles right here. So I thought that was kind of cool. And oh my goodness, I'm super excited. This probably holds 50 plus photos, okay? 50 plus photos. Oh my goodness, places for journaling, okay? Now, when you open it up, oh my goodness. I am definitely inspired by, you know, those leather legal notepad holders, the manly ones, as, as well as the portfolios, which is the reason why I'm calling it that, okay? We've got four by six spaces. Here's one on the front, strips of design paper, but you know what, I'm gonna start over here. <laughs> Look how awesome that is. That is just so cool, okay? I did a rounded corner. Okay, and I show you how to do that in this tutorial. And we've got this faux uh, envelope. So you think that's an envelope, right? Well, it's a flap, okay? I've got a leather closure right here with the waterfall that goes up and down. But first, let's look at this. Okay, stud, <laughs> stay wild. I had some chalk marker lines on there, envelope punch board, beautiful stickers. I am in love, the legend, okay? What is better than some leather tie strap right here? This is so awesome. So these just flip out. <laughs> Couldn't help myself with the journaling lines as you can see, okay? Beautiful places for pictures, unbelievable. And that just ties back up to keep it closed. And that's a magnetic closure right there. Oh my goodness. So this just flips out, okay? So dude right there. Now, this is super cute. I kind of wanted to mock like where you would keep business cards and different stuff like that, but this is a nice pocket right here in the back, okay? So there's a little insert in here. Holds four by four photographs. You would just slip that back in. And then we've got this awesome frame, okay? Four by six photo would just slip right inside there. Again, you do not have to mat inside there. You can put a cut apart. We all know that if you go to a craft fair or something, it's more attractive if you do have some paper back there before the person puts some photos in there. So we've got some stacked pockets right here, super cute. Here's the whole main point of the entire thing, right? Man card right there. I'm obsessed. I need to get myself some shoes like that. Um, I love it. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. And they just tuck back in here. That's just like a little Brad closure right there. And bingo. Okay, can't forget the barbecue. Okay, super cute circle punch. Some stickers, very simple album. Comes together in one day. And look at this, eat my dust. <laughs> Stay humble, that just slips out. Okay, super cute, you can do whatever you want. And then right here, I just am in love with this angle pocket. Isn't that adorable? Super cute. Those are the shoes right there, there they are. In love. And right back here, we have some tags, large ones. They hold four by six photos as well. Being a gentleman never gets old. I love it. And then this closed back up like that. And then we're over here on the other side. So I'm gonna close this so I can fit this in here. Now you would access your pictures here at the bottom and here at the top. Okay, and again, you can not put design paper in there or not. I've got a couple stickers right here and these pull down and up. Some stickers right there, of course. <laughs> this flips to the side and then we've got places for more journaling cards and or pictures, okay? Trim down pictures. 
And then there's an awesome side pocket right here with a little journaling spot or small photo spot right there. Super cute. And that just goes back in there. And I love that little angle. This one right here, that's super cool. If you want to check out the tutorial trailer, this is a kind of an overview of how it works. So stay tuned for that if you want to see it. This opens again, okay? Places for pictures. And then we've got an awesome little pocket right there. Beautiful. And then there's a side pocket back behind here, okay? Just rounded that. How fantastic is that? And that is the gatefold portfolio. So now on to the tutorial trailer. Hello everyone, it's Francis with your book of memories. Welcome to the gatefold portfolio tutorial. <laughs> That's a mouthful. As well as a pencil, a scoring tool, a bone folder. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's the back. Oh, that's so awesome. I want to wear a shirt that has that plaid on it. Isn't it? You can't mess it up. You're going to make one of the best masculine books you've ever made with this paper. This is just absolutely wonderful. And on any edge that you wish, you can apply some tape right at the edge right here. I'm going to start with this giant back base and I'm just going to go along the edges. And I'm also going to apply some in the inside. Two thicknesses of chipboard is a very beautiful distance away. Now everybody's, everybody's style is different, okay? You do it your way. I'm just gonna show you the basics of how to make a book and you let it take you on your own creative journey. So we see this little corner right here. All we're gonna do is use the edge and bring it in. And I've got one piece four and a half by six and a half. Now this piece, I'm gonna line up the six and one eighth inch side along the top. And again, I'm gonna score half an inch and in the open position, okay, what it is going to look like when it's open, the score mark closest to this half inch flap is gonna align with the edge of our chipboard cover. And right here, one piece, two and a half by four and a half. Center the circle, move the circle out of the way while I keep my hand in that position. got a good visual or feel of how my tutorials work and how my teaching uh, style is. So maybe I'll go see you over at the tutorial. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Bye.